Hey all, Kate here from the Emerald Minecart. Welcome back to another review. And yes, that's right, I am reviewing a TV show. This being the newest installment of Super Sentai, which is called Boom Boom Jerk. Now, I have been waiting for this Sentai for a decent while. It's the one that got me really excited and actually was the one that pulled me out of my Tokusatsu burnout. Which, I've already mentioned this before, but the reason I got burnt out of Tokusatsu is because it's a combination of the Geats finale coming out and me, like, being done after watching Geats. And then the fact that, like, I just felt burnt out with King Oger because, like, certain things, like, the power, the, uh, powerful power-up in the Ultra Zord, those things came really early when usually they come around in, like, the 30th episode mark. Those came way too early. It just, it just felt like certain days were just coming into the show a bit too early. Like, things were progressing really fast. So yeah, I got burnt out by it, but that does not mean I hate it. And then for Kamen Rider Gotchard, I just, I don't know, I just slowly lost interest. And also, again, it just kind of felt like some of the power-ups were coming a bit too early. Like, and it just felt like for me, like, every episode would release a more powerful power-up. Now, yes, I do get that in Tokusatsu, there are a lot of power-ups, but in, like, the early seasons, when, like, they get a new power-up, it's usually, like, not in the category of, like, the, their super mode or something. But, uh, yeah, so... I have been anticipating Boon Boonger for a good while. In fact, I actually pre-ordered the uh, first mini plot set, which, you know, I will be getting the other mini plots eventually, when I can. So, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm also going to be showing reaction footage of the first episode in this video. Which, if you want to see the full thing, then you can go to my Patreon, which you're probably thinking, Why can't you show the whole thing? Well, uh, here's the thing. I've, uh, if you don't know me, or don't know this channel specifically, you would know that I have run and do copyright claim issues with Toei before. And, uh, sadly, Toei is one of the many companies who likes to, uh, abuse the copyright system. And by that, I mean they mostly just flag things without actually watching it. So trust me, I've I've already made a video talking about my experience of, being, of getting my first ever copyright claim, so, you know, you can go check that out. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, the episode begins with us being introduced to Boon Red. Boon Red is obviously the leader. Because, you know, usually most red, red, you, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we were introduced to Boon Red, and we see he needs to pick up something or someone for a delivery. He explains in, like, a inner monologue that he is a he's basically a delivery man who delivers things, but also people, which is a bit suspicious, but... You know, we're, we're just going to ignore that. But, uh, yeah, the person he is looking for is this girl he, who is being forced to marry this guy who is related to some politician. So, yeah, uh, this episode starts off with, uh, our main Red Ranger having to rescue someone from a forced marriage. Daily reminder that, uh, Super Sentai is considered for kids in Japan. But thankfully, before the before the girl can be married with the weird guy, Boon Red comes in the same day and he takes her away. Which again, I I honestly I, I wasn't expecting this show to start off with like someone having to save someone else from a forced marriage. Like I I didn't I didn't think that was going to happen. But uh, hey, that's that that's Super Sentai for you. But uh, yeah. But also, another thing is the girl that he saves is actually going to later on be Boon Pink. So they're driving off, and they're also being chased down by the son and his father and his men. But then, the villain trio shows up, and oh my... Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let the whole scene play for itself. Oh! THERE'S THE MAIN VILLAINS! Alright! I-I like both of their designs, especially-especially the female. 
Oh! Oh! It's like Boon Boon, you seen this shit? Alright! Is he going to board? Yes, we made him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, even okay, even the villains are okay. So they are completely evil. They're like they're willing. Oh, okay. I like that. It's like even the villains are like okay. We may be evil, but we're not that evil. So we are introduced to our villain trio, which which consists of Deco Trade. Atasha and Yarukar. And honestly, I love these three. Like, when I looked at the designs, I, I already loved them, but I, I, I actually remember, like, seeing on Twitter someone compared them to, like, Team Ro like the, the original Team Rocket, which honestly, yeah, yeah, I, 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 see, I see that. But, uh, yeah, I really do like the design of uh, Deco Trade and his, like, microphone weapon thing. I love that. Uh, Itasha is my personal favorite. Actually, my, my most favorite Super Sentai villain because, or not Super Sentai villain, most favorite Tokusatsu villain because I really do like her cat UFO aesthetic, if that even is an aesthetic. And most importantly, I really do like Yarukar, which again, Bandai, look, look I doubt her, I doubt, I doubt anyone at Bandai is watching this, but it would, okay, I want to, hopefully this video is seen by multiple people because I want to make it where if, like, someone from Bandai sees this, because here's the thing. It would be a completely missed opportunity if Bandai didn't make some sort of Bandai exclusive item in the form of an RC version, or of an RC car version of Yaru car. Like, seriously, like, he already looks like an RC car, so, you know, it, it would be cool. Like, I don't care if I have to pay an arm and a leg to get it. Actually, actually, I do care, so maybe don't make it that expensive, but, uh, yeah. I, I really, really do like the main three villains, so, yeah, and, and they're not too serious either, so there's a chance that later on in the series, all, like, a new, more serious villain shows up, and hey, maybe this trio eventually gets, like, some sort of redemption arc or something, because, you know, wouldn't be the first time, but, uh, yeah. Uh, then we are also introduced to ba to Boon Dorio, who is the mecha of the show. Which, yes, that's right, the mecha is one of the characters, which uh, is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because I like him, but that connects to the bad thing because, you know, there's a chance that they might kill him off at the end of the series, and I really hope they don't do that. So, uh, yeah, we are also introduced to the Blue Ranger. So, uh, yeah, after taking, after taking a little detour, the, uh, like, he and the girl, yeah, Boon Red and Boon Pink stop at a clothing store so Boon Pink can change, and she's thinking to herself, and when she's done changing clothes, she comes out to see that the, uh, villain trio has found her, and Itasha uses some key that turns the dress into a monster. If you don't believe me, watch this. Wait, what? I'm sorry, huh? She just turned that thing into a monster! Holy crap! So Boon Pink chases after the monster that used to be her dress because we actually discover earlier on that the dress was passed down to her from her grandma. Thankfully, Boon Red has a plan to stop this monster in the henchman, for he morphs with a really cool mor morph sequence. Yes, there are cooler morph sequences out there, but honestly, this one to me is just, I don't know, it just really excited me. I guess that I guess it just tickled a part of my autism that made me go hee <laughs> more sequence. <laughs> but uh yeah. Um so yeah, he goes on to fight 
the uh, monster and the hitchman, all the while Boon Blue comes in to take her away to the destination she needs to get to. So after a little bit of fighting, we get to see that Boon Pink finally decides, you know what, I, I don't want to go to this location, I want to help fight, and she she just takes control of the vehicle, and, here, and something that the vehicle can do is, like, okay, so the main car that uh, Boon Red drives, it can change into like this fly this flying car thing that flies backwards that I think can turn into like a blaster or like some type of weapon for the uh, mecha. So yeah, there's, there's that. But uh, yeah, when she arrives, she says that she wants to help join the fight. And we we have we have a little bit of quietness. We don't know if he's going if the Red Ranger is going to say yes. And he says yes, even saying that he likes her spirit. And he gets like a spare morpher from the car, and she and Boon Blue morph. And honestly. What what happens next? Like when they fight, we already get to see Boon Pink fighting the same way as well. Like the same way as Rangers. Now, you would say like this is her first time doing this, so she wouldn't really know how to like fight back extremely well. But no, she does. She's doing all of the usual Super Sentai Ranger stuff already, even if it's literally just her first day. It's Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. But this will also connect to a uh, con, but I'll bring that up later. So yeah, after they defeat the uh, dress monster, the uh, dress monster, we actually see Yarukar come in and suck up all of this gas that comes out of the exploded entity of the dress monster. I don't I don't really completely know how to explain it, I guess. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I really am, but, uh, yeah. So he grows big and goes into this completely CGI world, which I know that will annoy some people, and I'm, uh, even I am kind of against the all CGI world thing, but considering what this one is, I'll give it a, I'll give it a pass. So yeah, they, uh, they take their, uh, mechas, including, uh, Boondorio, who is the, obviously, main mecha of, Boon Red, and another thing, like, Boon Pink already knows how to control her mecha, which, like, okay, look, I know it's, like, just essentially a giant car, but still, like, you'd think she'd be a little confused, it's like, uh, wait, where does this go, well, what does this do, uh, what, what, what do I do, but also, also, I, I, I just want to say the way they, like, get into their mechs is just... It, it, it's just, it's just so, it, like, it's stupid, but I love it. In fact, I actually made this here meme, which, it, 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 it's beautiful, I like that, but, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, the, uh, back tire things are more than just design. They can both be used for combat and this, which looks amazing. It's so stupid, but I love it. I, honestly, I'm sure there's something that looks like this, that probably... Yeah, there's probably... Okay, yeah, there's probably some sort of, like, weird wearable chair thing that kind of looks like this. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Uh, so that aside, they form their mecha, and, yeah, they, uh, they fight, or actually, before they form their mecha, like, the pink ring, like, Boon Pink literally takes him on by herself, and after defeating... Yar or Yarukar, the dress monster comes back all big and stuff, and they form their Megazord, and the, two, and the Megazord and the dress monster fight. Uh, then Boon Blue uses his his Zord to unscrew the bolts of of uh, one of, of one of the arms of the dress monster, and after that's done, like, you'd think, oh, it would just be the arm that comes off, but no, he, the dress monster's entire armor just, just falls off, which is like, dang, how many screws did he screw off? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, then, again, another amazing boom pink moment is that she literally, like, already knows how to do this, but, like, she basically uses her part of the Megazord to have the Megazord basically build a giant metal wedding cake that traps the monster, and it... 
I, I know what I'm talking, I know, like, right now, I kind of sound like I'm, like, on some sort of hardcore drugs, but trust me, this, this all happens, and it's just, it's just so amazing, but surprising how, like, she already knows how to do this stuff, it's like, did, what, was she secretly, a, what was she se secretly part of, like, a older Boon Boonger team or something, like, well, what's with that all about, but, uh, yeah, so they defeat the monster, and yeah, uh, now, Boon Pink is now part of the team, or technically not, since in the uh, teaser for the next episode, because usually at the end of these, because usually at the end of like a Tokusatsu episode, we see like a sneak peek for the next episode, and it shows that like Boon Blue doesn't really seem to accept her that much. So, you know, she's probably going, like, she's definitely going to have to do something to earn the respect and possibly trust of Boon Blue. We can already tell she has already earned the respect of uh, Boon Red, so there's that. And also, we do get to see Boon Orange in a few scenes. Not a lot, and I think there was one scene where we saw, I saw it was Boon Black, I think. We don't get to see the morph, obviously, but, you know, the, the, the characters were there, just in the background. So, uh, yeah. So, now, let's go to the pros and cons. For the pros, Boon Red and Boon Pink. Obviously, like I mentioned, I like, I like charismatic, like, okay, not charismatic leaders, but I like the type of leader that Boon Red is, like, the ones that are, like, energetic and nice. I really do like those ones. And Boon Pink, also my favorite. I, I love her, and I, I just also love the fact that, like, she, like, it's literally her first time ever doing something like this. And she's already showing that she is a pro. But, like I mentioned, this will connect to a con later on. Uh, then the next one, the villain trio, which consists of Deco Trade, Itasha, and Yarukar. I love them, and like I mentioned, uh, they do give me, like, Team Rocket vibes, so there's that. Uh, next one is Boondorio. Um... He's also really likable, and I really, really do hope they don't kill him off near the end of the series, please. Uh, and uh, finally, I really do like the morph sequence. And and yeah, sure, there are cooler morph sequences out there, but honestly, this one, I don't know, it just, it just, hurt, it just hit a certain spot for me that just made me really enjoy it. And finally, the con, which is, I, I really only have one con, because usually for like my reviews, I'm quite positive, because, you know, I like to be positive, but yeah, the one problem I did have was the possibility of Boon Pink becoming a Mary Sue. Now, if you don't know what a Mary Sue is, a Mary Sue is a female character that has the ability to do anything and has zero flaws. Now, I doubt that's going to happen to Boon Pink, but considering that this episode has already showed her being capable of doing multiple things she has never done before, Without any flaws, uh, yeah, that that's just a worry for me, though. I'm just worried that there's a chance that she might become a Mary Sue, which I really hope she doesn't. Like, I do hope they do show that she has some flaws, that she isn't perfect, so, yeah. Uh, that's really my only con I have, so, uh, yeah. This episode gets 5 out of 5 stars, which means, yes, that's right, this episode gets an Emerald Seal of Approval, which I usually give these out commonly, because again, like I mentioned, I'm quite positive with my grading system. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyways, if you want to see my full reaction, uh, it will be in my Patreon. So, you know, you can go support me there if you want to see it. Or see other things, you know, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah. So, Anyways, that was it for the video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye!